10 to go. McKinnon will be on his skates momentarily. Better round. Side of the net, Nation. Tonight, pass shot score. Code Kaniemi pays the price at the top of the crease to send it home and give the Canes a 1 0 lead. And I don't think that will be a power play goal. McKinnon was coming out of the box as Code Kaniemi scored. Well, the play right behind the net here. Looks like the Hurricanes player is going to try and stuff it. And then he loses the stuff option, so he almost threw a blind backhand pass. I don't know if he knew Cook. Cook Kenny Emmy was that wide open, but it was tape to tape. Lekkonen just took his eye off the plate for a split second. There's the backhand pass. He snuck in. Who's to say he doesn't take that range? Oh, Abs do win the draw. Loose helmet down. The car with his shot. That's why. So Stahl had to go off. Gaines replaced him. McKinnon with a dark move. Nathan McKinnon throws it right down to the crease. Nobody saw it. Everybody was looking. And it ricochets past the Chetkov. It may be his. Either way, with 5.4 to go in the first, the game is tied at one. Well, and Stone went to the bench. Nobody replaced him. Look at McKinnon spinning on the wall. Watch the back door. Right off the skater, Ryan Johansson. And that's a good goal all day long. No kicking motion. You're allowed to deflect. And what a sweet play by Nathan McKinnon. Throwing it on net. Bit of a lucky break. Oh! I say Ryan Johansson knew exactly what he was doing. But that whole play developed. But since then, the Abs have outscored their opponents 9-1 to one over the last six periods. So, this is where they start to crank it up even more. And here we go. Ryan Johansson building his game. I love that he used that line. I'm going to steal it all night long. He's got it. Car in pursuit on the near side. That puck is loose. Fed ahead. Logan O'Connor turns on the Jets. Can he do it again? He scores! By the great Joe Sackick, incredible. Wow, just absolutely, what a pass that was to hit Logan O'Connor on the backhand, and then he flies past both defenders. Look at that pass on the tape. Here comes the slash, and he slides in the backhand for three shorthanded goals in three straight games. Logan O'Connor is officially on it. Of course, you're able to do that when you can get control of that puck, as you mentioned, win those battles, get it down, get fresh legs out there. Now the Canes. Gets set up as Orloff. Finds Burns. That shot. Score. Brent Burns. Short side through a screen. Alexander Georgiev. I'm not sure ever saw it. And that's the first power play goal given up this season by the F. Yeah, right in front. Stefan Nason just screen. Look, he's looking back to see if he can be in front of Georgiev. And Georgiev has no idea where that puck is coming. Then Brett Burns with an absolute mustard shot to the top shelf that was a perfect shot here's a great look look at the screen Georgiev's got no chance no idea who's there so the Avs top line's been out there for quite a while at least McKinnon has and Tatar Avs have made a partial change as Druin is now out, out there on the ice Slavin gave it up Nature shoot save rebound score Bunting able to lift it top shelf and the Carolina Hurricanes have now scored back-to-back -back goals they've got a 3-2 lead as Bunting pops home his second of the season, the Avs completely lost coverage down deep. Out cycling and out moving. Watch his pass right here. Boom, comes across, handles it, shoots it down. McKinnon blocks it. That's a great job. A little unlucky that that rebound went straight down for an easy kind of tapping on the back door. And boom, top shelf, there it goes. And we went from thinking the Avs could kill that penalty off score one and put this game away to all of a sudden Michael Bunting giving Carolina a 3-2 lead. The Colorado native made a brilliant play. Olison couldn't get it in the zone. Now he can. Got through Slavin. Olison down deep. Oh, he scores! And get going and then right back out. Frederick Olison has tied the game at three. He won the battle at the blue line and he made a beeline for Pagers. Well, here comes McHill. Mikhail Kale McCart cross for the big hit on Seth Jarvis. And then I thought there was an interference call right here. Look how smart Olsen is. Gets back on side, protects the puck, and just goes absolutely bar down 
and out. This went out so fast. Went up the back bar and out. And that's only his second career. So the Canes were able to send it down. Well, both times they're directly towards the net. The abs are not messing with doing three, four, five, six passes. It appears it's a hey, one pass. Take a look. Let's get a puck on the net. The car arching through. Has things set up. Well, side shot. Save him and score. The snow plow that puck in the net, but who starts to play once again? Brian Johansson. What a pass from Kale McCarr. Johansson grabs it right here, and that puck got deflected. He found a way to keep the stick on it, and that one barely it curled its way over the goal line. Get the sweepers out. That one goes right to the button. What a huge goal by the power play. So the Avs have come stormy back in a 2 1 lead. I don't care what Georgiev paints on his mask. If he thinks it's lucky and he thinks it's good, I believe him because he's playing his tail off. The Chushkin, liking it to the slot. Scott! Nathan! Cannon rips it inside the near post. And the Avs are pouring it on. Kachuk off in the games. That's three straight tallies. And they've got a 5-3 lead here in period number two. That's right by the glove hand. Well, we talked about Coach Bender shaking up the lines. The team was stagnant. They were stuck. And once again, Arturi Lekanen, that by the four check into Chushkin, over to Arturi Lekanen, who just makes nothing but good quality high IQ plays. And what a crazy second this has been. Granted, it threw right into the skates. That's it back. Nico looking, shooting, score! Ranton his fourth goal of the season. He's been everywhere to start this year for the end. Well, almost lost the puck, but he got it back. Ryan Johansson once again in front of the net. I don't think he deflected that, but Johansson wins the faceoff and then gets in front for the screen. Just an outstanding game, his best for sure, and the most with just a laser wrister. And much like Brett Burns scored against the Avs. Because you're going to enjoy Ryan Johansson. You're going to end up loving him as much as every other player on the Avs. Because he's just untapped talent. Waiting to unload as a second line center for the Avs. So here we are in the third period. Might have been able to play it. Kokaniemi. Excuse me. Teravon and I should say. Just left the ice. Kokaniemi is on. And the first goal of the game for the Kings. Slap shot. Slavin. He scores. Wow. Jacob Slavin. All six foot three, two ten of him stepped into that one and rips it home short side. It's now a six four contest. Slavin's got a ton of friends and family at this game here tonight. Former Colorado College Tiger just unloads in front of the hometown fam, and that goes top shelf. And once again, Georgiev, watch the screen in front, just can't get his eyeballs on it. Caroline is great. At putting screens in front of Georg in the back of the net from the blue line, but both McKinnon and Rantanen just wide open nets for the empty netter. Abs win it, eaten by Taves, and that will do it.